There's some safety and operational features that I want to share with you on the LSV golf cart. Main being a seat belt for each of the four riders on the cart with buckle. We'll move over here. We've got mirrors very similar to what's on an automobile. Two side and one rear view mirror. Moving over to the windshield, we have a single wiper blade on the retractable windshield. Taking you through the simple controls of the cart here. Obviously, we've got our steering wheel with a clip on here. Um, just like any car you've ever driven, we've got your turn signals located on the column here, as well as a really loud horn. Moving down the column, I have an orange light here that is a low battery level indicator. When you hear that buzz, you know you want to get back home. We've got a condition light of the battery showing us empty or full. We've got USB ports for charging a cell phone or anything like that. You're on and off, much like a car key that you're used to. We have low driving lights uh, for headlights at night. And then we also have a speedometer combination, clock, and uh, hours that the vehicle's been running. Located down here by your knees is the transmission switch for this cart. So to go forward, it's clearly marked F, neutral in the middle, and R is for reverse. And every time you put this thing in reverse, you're going to hear a very clear buzzer sound, letting you know that it's engaged in reverse. Here on the back of the vehicle, uh, there's a couple things I'd like to point out. First is your license plate, showing this is a legal uh, North Carolina street vehicle. Secondly is the charging mechanism. Uh, on the charger, when plugged in, there's an indicator here. When flashing at the top, will let you know that it's fully charged. I've got two plugs that are attached to the cart. One is going to go to the wall, and the second one, hey Sandy. Hmm. The second one, I'm going to take you over top and show you where it plugs into the cart. There's plenty of slack in that yellow cord to drape it over the seat and plug it in to just one spot on the cart, and that's right down here where the driver's feet would be located. Uh, the transmission switch is also located here. This plug can only go in one way with a bump on top of it, and once we're plugged in here and we're plugged in at the back of the cart to the wall, we are now charging your cart. Last thing I want to reference is under this seat area of the cart. And there's two things I want to mention real quick here. And that is one, the registration to the vehicle, which is laminated and stapled here. And secondly, a kill switch. Should we need to do any service to the cart, it can be engaged and disengaged here. There are stickers on the dash, steering wheel, visor, and throughout the vehicle that need to be checked out, especially by every driver of this cart before operation.